hello friends hope you are doing well so today we will show you how to take the backup of endpoint devices before the backup i will show you how to install the agent on the endpoint devices using custom package hope you have seen my previous video where i have shown you how to create the custom package for endpoint devices we will refer the same package and I have copied that package in my laptop machine and we can use this package to install the client so as I said in my previous video we have created this package in such a way that no IT guy also can install this package even you can uh, use this package to install on your all the client in the in your environment by using your GP policy in AD. If you put this in your GP policy, it will get configured, it will get installed in your endpoint devices. And also you can use a remote push feature of Commodore itself. In case it is on the remote locations and you want to install the agent on those devices, then you can use custom package. Even you can hand over this package to your end users and just next extract the uh, package, accept the agreement and click on next. That's it. The package is automatically get installed, configured, registered with the console, uh, make the communication between host, uh, console and media agent, everything is built in automatic. So like the way we have created the package. Nothing much need to do here. And once it is done, it will appear in your console console. I will show you how it will be. Yeah, so in case you have a firewall, you have to select first option, otherwise, no. That's it. Installation is done. Now it is starting the services, and your endpoint is ready to take the backup. Just click on finish. That's it. Okay. So let's go to our console console. Right, as I said, once installation is done, it will appear in your client computer section. Just you need to refresh this, you will get it. If you have not get it, good. You can register using this option. So this, in case your communication is proper, then it will come up, come up in the client computer section. Otherwise, you need to put on the client name, host name here and fetch this information. Let's go to my endpoint device. Let's see what's the client name. Let's see what's the client name and host name here. Uh, so, I'm going to get this host name and client name there. This is the host name. So, please make sure you maintain the caps because it's a case sensitive, which is a slow and low. You have to use the low case row and which are the upper case. You have to use the upper case. Fetch the information. Next. Finish. So once installation done, it will show here whether it's a success or failed. Let's see. So 
success right so it will appear in the client computer section here so once it is here you can discover you can see all the architecture of the endpoint device and the content as you browse it you can see all the architecture drives so in my in my laptop on be here i have only c drive right so i'm getting only c drive if in your case if you have c d e f everything will get here in case you want to do the backup of particular extensions right like office file only select office file add it so from the all the complete device all drives it will select only office files and it will take the backup and if you want to see which other extensions containing this office files you can see here So these are the all the extensions which are there under Office file. If any other, if any extension is missing here, you can add manually also, right? If any other custom extension you want to include in this, you can add. You can add here, like standard x x y z. You can also add this one. Once you press OK, it will appear here. Right? In the filter section, you can filter what and all path or particular drive you don't want to take the backup that you can configure here. And in the storage policy, store by you can select a storage policy. Just check these options. It should be like this and press OK. I click on this backup that's okay you will get the backup backup is started you can check here so we have three phases here the scan backup and then archive index so 0 to 25 percent is a scanning phase as you can see in attempt section scan is completed and here in the progress bar you can see and deposition is complete right now you can see here the face back face is started so once the backup is completed i will show you how to restore the data as well so i'm requesting please like my video and subscribe my channel for the latest updates and if you have any query or if and if you want to if you if you want me to upload any video on particular specific feature please let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel So in the meanwhile, one uh, till the time it is getting backed up. Okay, let me show you some of the scheduled policies which we can configure for endpoint devices. Right. So let's create one new schedule policy for endpoints. Right. And then type let's select all. No problem with that. And I will add this one.
Select all, and here we can. Yeah, now we are getting so for the full or incremental, you can schedule. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to show you is automatic one for the laptops, especially for the laptops. Right, you have multiple options like use only wired network. Like if you have connected on the LAN, then only backup will happen. If you connected on the Wi Fi, wire or port, it will not take the backup. For backup, use only specific network. In case if you want to use only your network, means like only your office network, then you have to you can define this. On use only specific network. If you don't want to take a backup over your hotspot or hotel Wi-Fi or home Wi-Fi, you can you can restrict the backup using only this network. Another option is start only if the computer is running on AC power. That means if you don't want to, this is especially for your laptops, if you don't want to waste your battery power for the backup. So when you have connected on the charge in the charging mode, then only the backup will happen. Otherwise, it will pause the backup. This is important for the admins prevent computer from going to sleep if any jobs are running if any backup is running uh, let's assume the if my laptop is idle for five minutes or ten minutes then this is there the policy that it will be automatic it will go to the sleep mode so you can prevent going to the sleep mode if your backup is running because once it's going to sleep mode your backup will get pushed then you can select this option also for the resources Start only if CPU relations is below 10% or suspend job if CPU relations above 50% or 90%. Then you can select these options. These options, right? So, these are some automatic schedules which you can configure for your endpoint devices. Let's see where our backup is. The backup is completed. Here you can see our three phases scan, backup, and archive index. All three phases. Right. So once the backup is completed, you can let me show you the restoration. How the restoration will appear. You can select a particular time range, particular rate of time. In my video, I'm going for the latest backup only since I have, I have taken only one backup. So under the C drive, all the folders has been packed up. This note we have taken only the office files, right? So let's say I have to restore this particular administrator or not this one. Let's go inside this and I want to restore only app data, right? And uh, during the restoration, you have option to select any of your devices. Even you can restore this to any other server. Even you can restore on your media server, media agent. You can restore on com server. Even you can restore on any of the other client machine desktop laptop on the same machine also right so uh, let me uh, choose my console okay i'm not going for the same folder let me choose in the f folder i will create one new folder swing restore and this so as i said earlier all the live activities like backup restoration anything related to the uh, devices it will appear in the job control
and once it is completed after some time it will do disappear from here you can see the instruction job is running and it's almost completed and we can check also friends please like my video and subscribe my channel for the latest updates and please share your feedback in the comment box uh, in the registro folder app data see you can see this app data folder is hidden there so we got the folder hidden only right all the folders has been completed we have got this hope you like my video please like my video and uh, subscribe my channel to get the latest updates Thank you.